Long ago, in a remote corner of the world, ancient astronauts landed from a distant planet with a gift for mankind, the Phoenix. For a thousand years, he has waited, suspended in time. Now, he's awakened to complete his mission. He searches for his partner, Mira, for only she knows his ultimate assignment on Earth. Dependent on the sun for his strength and survival, endowed with a superior intelligence, he has fully developed the powers of the human mind. Relentlessly pursued by those who seek to control him, he must stay free. He turned east. Why would he do that? Don't ask me. The Lacey, I finish in the kitchen. I'm going to vacuum the bedroom now, okay? Okay. Oh, 
Do I smell chilly? Be ready for lunch. Lunch? I've been gone all week. Have you seen my magnifying glass? This one? That one. What would I do without you? The bell is on the table. Oh, and there's a package from Abe. Oh? I told you he was a nut, but you wouldn't believe me. What's our rule about I told you so? I know what I know. Learn to stay away from men with problems. Carla, what am I going to do? You should have them take him away before he does something really crazy. You're going to be late for class. I don't think that was very funny. Ibrahim, won't you even look at me? Is he inside? There is no he. There never was. I don't believe you. If you continue to do this, and you don't get help, I'm going to be forced to call the police. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, do you know where I could find Dr. Coleman? Archaeology Coleman or poli sci Coleman? <laughs> the Lacey Coleman. Oh. <laughs> that Coleman. Archaeology, it's right there. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Told you we should have taken that course. Playing solid here, sir? Go on, pick a card from that stack there. <laughs> Any card, go ahead. You got it? Mm-hmm. Now put it back on the far stack, right? Now put that stack on top of that one. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm-hmm. Now shuffle them together. Come on, shuffle. Shuffle them good? Yeah, yeah shuffle them good. I didn't know you were to magic. I'm not. It's not magic, it's an illusion. Once you learn the mechanics, everything else falls into place. Just find the magnet. Are you trying to tell me that Benu does it with magic? I don't know how he does it. 
yet. But it's an illusion. You can bet your pension on it. Mr. Preminger, I think you might be interested in this. One of our dogs found it. Don't talk to me about dogs. Well, we think Banu may have dropped it. You know where Rutledge College is? About 30 miles from here. I tell you, you know where it was going. Are you Dr. Coleman? Yes. May I help you? Uh, yes. I hope so. What can you tell me about this? Where did you get this? Peru. Peru. Why does that surprise you? Are you a student here? Then I... Have, have you seen this symbol? Before somewhere? At a burial site that you've written about? You may not be a student here, but you certainly have done your homework. I... I hope I'm not interrupting anything here. This gentleman has just shown me a terracotta fragment with an 11th century solstice symbol on it. Are you buying or selling, young man? Neither. May I ask where you would have come up with a piece of... Thank you. How can you be this tough? Why are you being this tough? You should not encourage your students to emulate your vivid imagination. I prefer to call it creativity. Nonetheless, A should be awarded for precision, not for fanciful speculation. Looks like you've got yourself a pretty good shovel man. Have you ever seen a medicine wheel? Oh, yes. But, uh, not quite like this one. I'm afraid I don't even know your name. Venu. Is that an 11th century name as well? Could be. May I see that fragment again? Dr. Coleman, I've come a long, long way. I have something to show you, but it's at home in my dark room. Do you have a few minutes to spare? Not in any danger, is she? I wish I could be more reassuring, Doctor, but I can't. De Lacey is an enchanting girl. However, I must say she has the most unfortunate choices in men. What do you mean? Well, she seems to be deeply troubled by one young man, a, uh, a former boyfriend, I believe. I'm more concerned about Benno at the moment. I wish I could be of more help. Do you have any idea where she might be found? Well, she's been doing a lot of work lately out at uh, Mesa Grande. What kind of work? The Lacey has this romantic notion that the Indians were charting the universe out there in the middle of the 11th century. 
Now, that's a uh, medicine wheel. No one knows for sure why they were built. They were said to have supernatural power. You mind if I keep this? I suppose it'd be all right. This would be a meteor. Very good. Where'd you find it? Mesa Grande. Thank you, Doctor. Hi. Where did you find this? At Mesa Grande. I think it's a cogstone or a, a charm stone. I'm not sure which. Is there a broom or a mop around here? Yeah. I already had the place cleaned today, though, so I mean, don't bother or anything. If it is a cogstone, it was used by medicine men to pinpoint certain burial sites. And when it's positioned in the right place and correctly aligned with the sun, it should throw out a beam of light on the sacred spot. Obviously, my kitchen isn't exactly sacred. You should see what this cogstone can do when it's in the right place. However, that chili smells absolutely incredible. You want to taste? Now, it's, it's a little hot. You're a good cook. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll tell Carlo. What was it that you wanted to show me? Follow me. This is the way to my dark room. <laughs> this way. If I get tenure, I get a second bathroom. <laughs> Excuse me. I wasn't expecting company. Where did you take these? At Mesa Grande, at one of the medicine wheels. But this is what I want to show you. Look at that. Oh, I can't believe it. Would you take me there? Sure. No, it's, it's very important to me. You mean today? Now? Yes. I still don't understand how you could have found that in Peru. Mm. But I did. Would you mind telling me, how does an American Indian rock carving turns up in Peru in the middle of the 11th century? It's <laughs> and that's a pretty long haul, even in a 747. Change that tire. Oh, let's hope that there's air in the spare tire. I can be really dumb about this sort of thing. Oh, okay. Here, you're gonna need this. And of course. Oh no. What's wrong? 
No, Jack. Is that bad? It's not good. Haven't you ever changed a tire before? Well, I... Mm, not really. And I thought I led a sheltered life. I've got an idea. Better be good. We'll take this, get a rock, make a lever, get the tire off that one. Why don't you go get me one about this big? Why don't you try this big, OK? Maybe. OK. All right? I'm only doing this because I'm a desperate woman. <laughs> Magician or something? Hi. Need some help? Not anymore, thanks. Pretty nasty place to get stuck. Don't I know it? Be careful now. Thanks a lot. Okay. Okay, now you want to tell me just how you did that? I. I used another rock. It was right there. You used another rock. What's the matter with your voice? You couldn't have thought to call me down there and say, you Lacey already found a rock. Nothing like exercise. You know how heavy that rock was? Let's I mean, it's go. not exactly like... It's getting late. <laughs> as close as we can get. I could kick myself for giving Abe that Jeep. You know, we used to be able to drive practically all the way up there. There, let me get that. Thanks. 
Well, I can't go anywhere without my hat. Oh, no, where is this? Oh, come on, hat, where are you? You know, the Blackfoot tribe used to use those medicine wheels as a way of marking the spot where their most important sheep were buried. Benu. something funny about this one. I can't put my finger on it. Chic enough for you? Are you all right? Let's go. Can I have my walking stick, please? Strange. I've been working this site for two years and I've never seen a goat before. That's enough. It's safe now. Come on up and bring some rope. Is he all right? Yes. Oh, no. Do you have to tie him up? I don't, I don't see why you have to tie him up. He tried to kill you. He was one of the most brilliant archaeologists in the Middle East. He was working with me here, and, and, and all of his family was killed in the revolution, and he, he just... He just started to depend on me, so... I was all he had left, but I wasn't strong enough, and... 
<laughs> what do you think we ought to do now? I'm going up to the medicine wheel. He'll be all right. We'll take him down and we'll get him some help. What was the message you got from Atkins? They just deciphered another memory chip from Venom's sarcophagus. It warns him of a hostile presence, an enemy. One of us or one of them? Oh, no, one of them. It's called Iago. What does that mean? Damn the vino. Here's the sheriff. It's about time. I came as quick as I could. Now, which way did they go? I can only guess. Guess. There's 1,500 square miles of desert out there, mister. This isn't Washington, D.C. I'm aware of that, Sheriff. I've seen Miss Coleman out here before, digging around in some of those Indian places. Well, she's that Mesa Grande. So are you. What? All this is Mesa Grande. So which part are you looking for? Oh, isn't that just wonderful? It's extraordinary, isn't it? I think what you're looking for is here. I hope so. There should be an alignment hole here, shouldn't there? Careful. I will. Why does this mean so much to you? Is coming. How could they possibly know about Abraham? I'm going to go down and show them where he is. Delacy, hurry back. between acting and a career as an orthodox. No, I meant a... The mind that created the Martian Chronicles and Fahrenheit 451 opened 
worldwide comes a series that is exactly one half exhilaration. Nobody gets out alive. And exactly one half terror. Madness! Monsters! The award-winning Ray Bradbury Theater. Tonight at 11, 8 Pacific, only on the Sci-Fi Channel. One by one, the collection is displayed. Where am I? In the village. What do you want? Information. Presenting rare and special programs, the Sci-Fi Series Collection. We want information. Who brought me here? Information. Whose side are you on? Information. You won't get it. Escape becomes an obsession for Patrick McGowan in The Prisoner. Begins Wednesday at 9, 6 Pacific. up to now. Tell him I need that chopper now. Yes, sir. That's where she's been digging. They say the helicopter won't be available for another 30 minutes. You tell him I need it now. Not in 10 minutes, not even five, but now. You heard him. They say that's the best they can do. Just great. Get your men and follow me. Read that walkie-talkie. Get your guns. Let's go. Wait, men. Mira. Oh, Mira. Mira, no. image she sees. She has been removed from this place.
Benil. Benil. We must not fail. I have left this crystal to protect and guide you. What happened to you? <coughs> what happened here? I met an old enemy. What are you talking about? I don't understand you. What is this? It was left for me. What I've been looking for has been moved. What are you saying? This is going to help me find it. I don't understand you. Can I use the Jeep? You can have anything you want. Of course you can use the Jeep. Now, try to understand me. If you think you're all right, I don't want anyone coming up here. I want to go down and deal with them, and I'll be right back. Do you think you're all right? I am now. I have so many questions to ask you. I want to answer them. I really do. But I can't. Bye. That's her. Call me. You guys are incredible. How did you know? Where is he? He's, he's up there. He's tied up. Go on, take him. How did you manage it by yourself? I didn't. Ben who did. Yes. Oh, wait. with three healthy rambles.
Did you see that story on TV about the lady archaeologist who thinks that spacemen landed in Arizona a thousand years ago? No. Do you think something like that could be true? I guess it all depends on whether or not you're a dreamer. The vampire will bite twice, first in the original 1922 horror classic Nosferatu, then again in the 1979 modern thriller Nosferatu the Vampire. It's a blood-chilling sci-fi channel double feature beginning tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern. Now stay tuned for Quantum Leap, next on the Sci-Fi Channel. Next, 